Hello everybody and welcome back to Life as B. It's been such a long time since I made my last YouTube video. I am trying. Bear with me. I know a lot of you liked my hair get ready with me video the last time. So this time I'm doing a makeup and hair get ready with me while I'm also talking about my LASIK eye surgery experience. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So this morning I did a Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask by Fresh. I love their products. I usually cleanse my face every single day. Today I just did the mask and exfoliated and I usually use the Soya Face Cleanser. And now I'm going to start with um, tea tree oil because I'm having a little bit of hormonal acne like that. Then I'm going to go in with my fresh vitamin nectar moisturizer. I usually use the Rose Deep hydration moisturizer. Honestly, I love fresh skincare. It's my favorite. I use them every single day. They are more on the pricier end, but honestly, it's the best for my skin. Today I wanted to go for more of a glow, so I always get that with this moisturizer. Usually my under eyes are a little bit dry, so I go in with the Youth Preserve Eye Cream. All you need is the tiniest amount. Now that I'm going to let my moisturizer set in, I'm going to start with my hair because it's a mess. To restyle, I like to use a little bit of Pillow Soft Curls. This is my favorite product. One of my friends, Jasmine, she actually told me about Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. But I have to drive over to Buffalo or go to the States um, once every year or every couple of years. And then I just always stock up on it and it smells amazing. So that's all I'm going to do with my hair for now. I'm just going to let it air dry a little bit. I feel like the moisturizer is set in already. So I'm going to go in with my Hangover Too Faced Primer. So it's been a while since my last YouTube video and I wanted to catch you guys up. I actually made a video back in February because I actually got LASIK eye surgery. And I made a whole video about the whole process for about a month and I can't find the video footage anywhere. I think I accidentally deleted it when I was taking some shoots in between and maybe I forgot to upload it. I actually have no idea where the files are. I guess like I'll just tell you a little bit about it. So I think it was like February 15th I did LASIK eye surgery. That was the day of my procedure. So about a week or two weeks before I had a consultation and I just wanted to know if I was a candidate. I wasn't actually planning to go ahead and do it. I just know that I told myself by the time I'm 25, I wanted to get LASIK eye surgery. So I went in for a consultation and I went to LASIK MD and they told, they answered all of my questions. They told me what the procedure was gonna be like and um, I felt super comfortable. They told me I was a candidate. So I said, you know what, like let me book my appointment. So I went ahead and did that. Everyone was asking me if I was nervous. Honestly, I was not nervous at all. I was actually super excited because I just wanted to wake up and see shower without glasses. My friends always made fun of me because I always showered with my glasses. I was a weirdo for showering with my glasses on, I guess. So the pro whole procedure took about like 20 minutes, but during the consultation, they, they ran at least like five or seven tests on my eyes to see if I was a candidate. Um, I visited a couple of the doctors there and then even on the day of my procedure, which was early morning, they still wanted to run some tests to see just to make sure and even the doctor that performed the surgery on my eye just wanted to check for the final time that I was okay to go and I was. Usually they give you or you can ask to take a Xanax pill if you want to relax but I didn't ask for it and I was fine. I kind of wish I had because during the procedure they give you the stress balls and when you're sitting in the chair and you're staring at the light you kind of know what they're doing because they tell you a little bit about it just so that you're aware. And I was came out of the room shaking but honestly that was like my first surgical experience and I would definitely go back and do it again. I don't think it was anything like too scary to not do because the long-term effects are totally worth it. 
and now it's amazing because my left eye is completely 20-20 but my right eye I think it still had a little bit of astigmatism and they weren't sure if they wanted to do an enhancement yet because they didn't know if it was because I have dry eyes or if um, it wasn't corrected 100% and with LASIK MD they give you a lifetime guarantee of 2020 vision so after my procedure I wasn't allowed to drive I wasn't allowed to read check my books for the first read or check my cell phone or go online or anything or watch movies or TV or anything for 24 hours I had to rest my eyes they gave me three types of eye drops that I had to take every couple hours to every hour I listened to podcasts all day, um, specifically the Ground Up show, which is really motivating and a pretty awesome podcast I definitely recommend. My eyes were a little bit sore. I had to wear these glasses to sleep in so I didn't like scratch my eyes at night or rub them by accident or anything like that. By the end of the three days of continuously using the eye drops and just resting my eyes, um, I was able to perform regular activities like going back to work and reading and using my phone again. Um, but my eyes were, still felt a little bit strained and I knew my right eye was super dry, the doctors kept saying. So they said that it takes three months for your eyes to completely heal. But it took me three days to perform regular activities. The whole process was pretty easy. They were really good at doing regular checkups to make sure everything was good to go on my end. So I'm just going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I've used this for years. I'm in the shade Y435. It's like a caramel color. And then I'm, I mixed it in with a Becca Champagne Pop liquid highlighter. And I just want to go for a dewy look today. So yeah, the whole LASIK eye surgery experience was incredible. I definitely recommend. I still have to do some checkups. They just want to make sure that my eyes are, are still in check. But I'm really glad that I was able to do it because I'm 23 and I thought I had to wait till I was at least a couple years older. It is an expensive procedure. I know that. But it's definitely worth the investment. And now I, c I can't wait to swim this summer and do a bunch of things and go on roller coasters and just do activities where I don't have to worry about my contacts drying out, my eyes getting super dry and sore, or going out and forgetting my glasses, or like anything like that. So one of my all-time favorite, actually two of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes is the Smashbox Ablaze Eye Palette and then the NARS Atomic Blonde. The Smashbox one I've used, I've only bought it once because it's so pigmented, but it lasts a while. You can see that I've already used quite a bit of it, especially the pink. And the colors are just so gorgeous. I always get complimented on my eyeshadow whenever I use it. I'm going to go in with this orange color, the dark one, I like that. And some important things that I forgot to mention about my LASIK eye surgery experience, I actually wrote down some notes when I was there, is that I had to get the advanced custom wave front. Yeah. So the day before, I had to make sure that I wasn't wearing my contacts 24 hours before the surgery. I had to drink water, wake up early, and then my mom came with me. Um, to, when I did my procedure and she sat outside and then she was able to drive me home and just check in on me So I'm currently editing the video and I forgot that I left it a couple of points So I just wanted to make sure that I include this in the video because it is important um, so The events custom wavefront in most cases provides better day and nighttime vision and it's more accurate so it removes 30% less corneal tissue which is safer for my eyes in particular especially because i had astigmatism and then after the procedure they gave me a post-operative activity schedule so that meant after three days i was allowed to do activities like water skiing sports snowboarding all those active stuff while wearing eye protection after i was allowed to swim or sail after seven days without the eye protection and then after one month and three months i was allowed to do more if i wanted to do boxing and things like that also a couple of months after the surgery, I had 
um, I was seeing lots of halos and glare specifically at nighttime and it was a little disorienting and it kind of bothered me and they told me it may or may not go away. Thankfully enough, I didn't even notice the exact day, but it did eventually go away and dissipate. It's just because your eyes are so sensitive and they're still healing because it takes three months to heal. Um, so the, all the lights and the street lights at night were just so much more brighter um, than usual. And I still had to, and to this day consistently have to drink water. And that just means, that's just because I have to keep my body and my eyes hydrated all the time because my eyes are always dry. So yeah, all right, back to the regular program. <laughs> so for my eyes, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I've used this eyeliner for years and I always buy it and I'm never ever again have been interested in any other eyeliner because it only costs me $11 Canadian and I just can't justify spending like 30 bucks on an eyeliner that I use every single day I'm like it gives me amazing results I always get compliments on my eyeliner today is not the best eyeliner day for me I recently just tried the Morphe lashes They're only $12 at the store and they are so beautiful so this is the Morphe lash in hypnotic Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to go back and do my face again. So I'm taking the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer and Sand. Concealer is actually my favorite makeup application. I've used so many different types of concealers, trying to find the perfect ones for my skin that doesn't crease too much. And honestly, Too Faced Born This Way Concealer has been the best. Even the uh, NARS Creamy Concealer too. And I like to change between the NARS Creamy Concealer and the Too Faced Born This Way one. And my shade in the NARS is actually caramel. And then as a highlighting, I think I go with ginger. And then I also use a Fenty Beauty. I do find that it gets a little bit cakey when um, if I use more powder because of the matte finish. I'm oily T-zone combination skin and then I get dry around the mouth area. And then I recently got the Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Powder in Tan. And this is an incredible powder. It's super affordable and it makes my skin look absolutely flawless. And to contour, I'm going in with my Fenty Bronzer in Island Ting. And then for highlighter, I, I like to use two highlighters. I go for the MAC Gold Deposit Mineral Finish, skin finish actually. Do that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with the Prosecco Pop. And then for my lips, I'm going in with a CoverGirl Lip Pencil and this is in the shade 205. To go over, I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Girlfriend. I have so many of the shades. Venus is also one of my favorites. Now for my hair. Be cute, so I'm just gonna twist my hair. I like to finish off with the Revlon Style Masters Hairspray and the Hold 3. And it just gives my hair that extra oomph of volume. It helps if you tease your hair underneath. And there you have it. Thanks for watching my Get Ready With Me video and listening to me talk. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe down below if you enjoyed watching this video. And if you want to see more or have anything that you'd like to see me do, leave a comment below and let me know. I'll see you guys later.